Hey y'all, what's up guys? Welcome back to BC Reviews. And man, we here with another review. You can see here, we have something a little bit different up in the house. I don't know what this means. Bike Air, Nike Air, Bike Air, Bikey Air, Nike Air, whatever you want to call it. This is not the norm. These are the Nigel Sylvester Jordan 4 RMs, AKA Grandma's Driveway. And this is the, I think this is probably the better of the colorways that release uh well especially in this part of the country now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at these things not a shoe that was really on my radar but once i got them and i did have a chance to have these in hand a little bit and and, and get an impression i kind of like them they're actually growing on me and i wonder if, if you're going to feel the same maybe after you uh you see them in hand well, at least in my hand so let's not waste any more time i've had these around for a few weeks and i've been meaning to get around to, to show you guys these because i know like i said a lot of people aren't really you know going for them and i and i think that might be a mistake but let's go ahead and take a look at the box and you know, you can already see the box has something unique on there that bikey air that right there is just something worth you know grabbing these just to have something different if you're a collector like that but the box does have like that normal Jordan 4 style box, except it is a little bit different. Instead of like this cement print, it has like some type of stone looking print. You see it, you see it. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the label. Label reads, Air Jordan 4 RM SP, color is Pro Green MT LC Platinum Black. Yeah, I don't know where they get these names for these colors, but and that's what it is. And of course, it is your boy's personal size 10.5. Now, let's go ahead and take a look. But first, I do not condone authorize the selling or reselling of UA fake wraps, alternates, whatever you want to call it, type shoes. If you decide to get shoes like this, remember, you always doing it at your own risk. We can continue with revealing these things. All right. Before you get the typing in the comments, you know, where to cop. Wow. Don't ask me. Ask them. So I guess that's probably Nigel Sylvester. I don't know what Jordan looked like when he was just a little kid, but I don't think he looked like that. If you don't know who Nigel Sylvester is, he's like a like a pro BMX biker. He also had a collab with uh, Jordan, you know, with a few other shoes. I think one of his most famous ones is going to be their Jordan One. They kind of looked distressed, like it was beat up and written. You know, I mean, it was worn while you, it was being written on BMX bikes. But I think he had a, another, you know, collab after that. He may have, or before that. I don't know. I'm not an expert on Nigel Sylvester, but we have these in here, so let's just talk about these right here. Before we do, let's pull them out, or at least get one out right here. And correct me if I'm wrong, is this a model that's like the Jordan 11? You know how they have like that Jordan 11 that's kind of weird? I don't like that one. I forget what it's called, but it's it doesn't look like normal Jordan 11. Is this like that same scenario, but with a Jordan 4? Or did Nigel do this whole shoe you know, all by himself. I, I really don't know. And, and excuse my ignorance, but I just don't know. But, oh, <laughs> okay. All right, we're not gonna, we're gonna take our time and, and look at this shoe over, guys. It seems like there's a lot to digest. Let's go ahead, get these shoes out, set them up, and, uh, you know, then we can talk about it. Oh, and look, it has go underneath there. Now, let's go ahead, set them up, and then, again, talk about it. The Nigel Sylvester Jordan 4 RM, AKA Grandma's Driveway, in a green colorway. <laughs> Eagles green, you know, we ain't doing so good right now. Not as good as I like anyway, but that's for a whole nother discussion. Quality wise, right now, they feel great. Like this material is awesome. It's so soft, so smooth. Starting with the back. Yes, that is very unique, Bike Air. Now, Nike has been getting really loose with, you know, letting different collaborators uh, change their logo and stuff. And the fact that they were able to change the, the, the name to the to bike, I mean, that's that's huge, man. That is huge, I think, anyway. The midsole is all Jordan 4, like normal retro Jordan 4. And it's got the green bubble. It's got the little swoosh up here. Decent looking shoe, nice shape. It isn't awkward looking. Take a look at the tongue. It comes pre-laced with green laces. Bike Air by Jordan. <laughs> okay, Bike Air by Jordan. Let's take a look at the bottom. All right, let's keep going. Let's take a look at the inside. This is the left shoe we have. So Nigel Sylvester in the left shoe. More of a premium style sock liner, I'd say. It's nice and smooth. 
but nothing too fancy. Oh, decent shoe. Let's take a look at this other shoe and see if there's any differences between the two. It's quality wise on point. Bike Air, just like on the left shoe. Now this one says Nike Air on the inside, as opposed to the other one that says Nigel Sylvester. Looking at the medial side, looks good. Not bad at all. It is a decent shoe. It's, it's something different, and a lot of people just don't just don't vibe with it. And I get it. You know, you want your Jordan Four to look like a Jordan Four, and it's hard to go for something different. Oh, hold up, pause. I just checked Stock X, and did y'all see what these things are going for right now? They have more demand than I thought. But I mean, I dig it. Like I said, I've had this shoe in hand for about uh, you know two weeks now, and I haven't worn them yet. But definitely going to throw them to toe uh, really soon because I like them. I really didn't see anybody posting pictures like on Instagram. But if you do want to see them on toe or on foot, whatever you want to say, uh, make sure you follow me on my, my Instagram, beastly underscore GTR. I will post some pics of these being worn out, you know, in the wild. This is probably one of the better colorways. We've seen this one, and then there's like a all black one. I think it has a little bit of like dark gray on it. Though. That one's probably a little bit more wearable because, you know, not green. But yeah, if you don't mind a little bit of color, then these are it, man. I give these things a stamp of approval with the uniqueness, the quality, and uh, man, and the balls just go ahead and Nike, have Nike change up little bit of their uh their logo i mean that's some balls boy <laughs> all right and i'm out of this john until the next video but yeah like comment subscribe let's catch you later Woo!